Congratulations, you've made it through content. And now comes the fun part, themes. Content may be king, but people do judge a book by its cover, and a good theme helps your site make a great first impression. Themes are design templates that you can assign to your website to instantly change its appearance, and sometimes its functionality. The first step is to choose and install a theme, so let's find one right now. From your admin toolbar, click on Appearance. Here you see all the themes currently loaded on your site for you to choose from. This theme thumbnail image shows an approximation of what the theme looks like, though it may appear somewhat different on your site. In fact, sometimes you'll activate a theme and discover that it looks nothing like its thumbnail. Hover your mouse over a theme and click Live Preview to see how it looks on your site. If you like it, click Save and Activate, and if not, click the X in the corner to cancel. WordPress provides a library of free themes that you can install on your account. Let's search for more themes to download by clicking WordPress.org Themes. Scroll through the featured, popular, and latest themes. You should choose a theme that balances function and form, that looks great, matches the style or tone of your business, and gives your customers what they need. For my restaurant website, for example, I want something clean and elegant that's also classy and refined, and that shows off my menu items in an appetizing way. This part of the process can be the most frustrating and difficult because it is hard to find a theme that fits all of your needs. Setting up my site, it took a long time to find a free theme that fits my needs. I would highly recommend a premium theme because they are far more customizable. Check out this video to learn why premium themes can save you time and frustration. So I've already found a good free theme that worked for my needs, so I'll search for it by name. Click Preview to find out more about it. If you like it, click Install. You can install as many themes as you want, then choose between them later. When you install a theme, nothing actually happens until you activate it. Let's just click Live Preview to try it out first. Hmm, that looks pretty good. So I'll activate it and then adjust a few parameters. Now, when I reload my site, you see my new theme in action. All the same content is still there, the pages and posts, but it's now organized and designed differently, which is exactly what themes are for. Once you choose and activate a theme, it's time to configure its options. Most of these options are found in the Customize and Theme Options screens, if that's available for your particular theme. These options differ with each theme, so let's walk through mine to give you the general idea. Clicking Customize under the Appearance tab shows your changes as you go along. You can update your site name and tagline. Each theme may have various color options which you can change if you like, like the background color in my case. Some themes let you upload header images. Let's do that now. I'll click Add New Image and Upload Files and Upload an Image. If an image doesn't match the exact header dimensions, WordPress helps you crop it to fit. Drag the clear area where you like and click Crop Image. It looks pretty good. I like it. Now I want a background image to show around the edges of my site content area. So let's add an image and, hmm, it isn't showing up like I want. But hey, don't worry. That option may be in the Theme Options menu. Again, every theme is different. You just need to play around with them and see what works for you. There are also several widget areas. I'll explain these useful options in the next video. I want my site to look classier than just a blog, so I'll display a static page rather than recent posts on the home page. Now let's save and publish, close the customized screen, and see how the site looks now. Oh, it looks pretty good. Let's continue and see what options there are in theme options. Here I can upload a logo which can really help my site look more custom, so I'll do that now. In the Design tab, I can change the site layout and, aha, I think this is what I was looking for to have my background image show up around my content. I bet the Wide Layout option covered up the background image, so I'll choose Boxed Layout instead and see if that works. Be sure to scroll down and save changes and refresh the site. Perfect. Sometimes you just have to experiment with these options to get them just the way you want. Remember the difference between pages and posts? Well, I'd like to hide the sidebar for pages to make the site look cleaner and less cluttered. So I'll click this option and I'll keep the sidebar for blog posts because it's useful there. 
Again, save and refresh. See what I mean? It looks great. Now let's find out what other options this theme offers. I'll upload a favicon, which is a tiny image that shows up in the browser tab. Also, this theme comes with a home page slider, which is a very popular feature these days. Be aware that many themes do not include a slider, and sometimes you need to install a plugin to get that functionality. I'll activate the slider and add an image here, along with titles, descriptions, and links to blog posts about these menu items. I'll do this for all four slider spaces. Now let's go back to the home page and see how it looks. Nice, I really like that. But there's an issue. The site feels cluttered at the top with images. So I'll go back and remove the header image. Again, go back to customize, remove the image and save and update. Now check out how great my homepage looks. That's much cleaner and elegant. By now, I hope you're amazed at how easy WordPress makes this. I'd call this a very successful experience with a free WordPress theme. But remember, I mentioned that there is a lot of behind the scenes trial and error to find a free theme that worked for me. I don't think I can stress enough the ease it will bring you to use a premium theme. They unlock extra functionality like social media links, built-in contact forms, and, and many other great functions. Many themes, including this one, can be upgraded, which activates those types of additional features. For watching this tutorial series, we want to give you a chance to try out a premium theme at a fraction of the price. Just visit bluehost.com forward slash mojo marketplace to get your premium theme today. Well, that's it for themes. The next video teaches you two more ways to adjust the appearance and content of your page by using menus and widgets. Don't miss it because these are very useful tools. We'll see you then.